Oh, I think I need to walk around. I feel nervous. Today I'm going to take a pregnancy test. Now, I have taken numerous pregnancy tests over the last six months. I look awful. I feel pretty awful as well. So I'm not sure if I'm just coming down with something or if I am actually pregnant and I'm just feeling rough. <sighs> nope. There's only one line there. I really thought this month was it. I have also been taking ovulation tests just to check everything. I track everything on the app. I will go through that and show you what I've been doing. But at this stage, I am 99% sure that I am pregnant. I'm going to go for it, take a test today. I have felt close to this before and have had a negative test. My period is now about a week late and Ingemar and I agreed that we would just enjoy thinking and kind of feeling like we are pregnant for a week and just see. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the test now and just get through this because I I just I know my body now and I just I really genuinely think this is this is it and we might actually be pregnant. I just bought the cheap um, sticks because honestly this is what I've used in the past and, I'm, and I feel like they're really reliable. I've got the instructions out here and we are looking for two lines so let's do this. Oh I'm shaking. <laughs> Ready. I wish I'd done this with Ingmar here, <laughs> but I get to surprise him. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna have another baby. Okay, I've calmed down a bit now. <laughs> I also had to drive Ingmar to work and have this as like my little secret, but I don't wanna just blurt it out to him. Although he has his suspicions anyway, because obviously we've been trying for a while. But I want to actually make this a nice news that I share with him. This weekend is Valentine's, so I'm going to make him a Valentine's card. And it's going to be really cheesy. I'm going to write a little poem in it to him about how he's going to be a pappy again. Roses are red, violets are blue. This year you're going to be a pappy of two. Or do I do roses are red, violets are blue? This year I'm making you a pappy of two. It doesn't really matter, it gets the message across. I think I'm still just a bit in shock that it's actually true and I'm still shaken. I'm actually quite surprised that I managed that drive without him noticing, but that's because a friend called. So I was actually speaking to the friend whilst he drove, so I didn't really have to speak to him anymore because <laughs> he probably would have seen right through it and asked what was up. So let's get doing this card and I'm going to make him a keto cupcake so he's got kind of like a little Valentine's treat and I'll try and film it and just tell him I'm vlogging and then hopefully I'll capture a nice little reaction for us all. I was planning on kind of having a dinner, making Ingemar the keto cupcake thing for his dessert, giving him his Valentine's card, the message, blah blah blah, it would have been a lovely family evening. But now he's invited his sister and her son over for dinner and she is going to a Zumba class so therefore Kiratan is coming over here any minute now. I kind of just want to get the message across to him and stop like plan trying to plan some big thing. So I might make the cake, maybe not. But I just got him two protein pancakes, one from each child. And that will do because in reality this is mum life. I have a toddler, I have a business, and I'm pregnant. Okay, just to update you, it is the next day now. Last night got too late before they had left and gone home. 
and then we just did bedtime routine with Mia and then I went to bed because I was knackered and so I didn't do the news last night and this morning I'm up with Mia and Ingemar's still asleep so we've been doing some painting right now and I'm waiting for him to get up and then I'm gonna just place the camera on the shelf in the sitting room and give him his card or get Mia to give him his card and I'll hopefully try and capture it for you guys. Did you get stuck in the bath? Yeah. <laughs> Do you need help? Yeah. Let me help yeah. you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Steady? Go! Yay! Are you ready? Mommy's done. Okay. A Valentine's joke. A Valentine's joke. Okay. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Mum wanted grandchildren. And now she's getting so many she doesn't know what to do. Surprise! <laughs> okay, we've just parked up uh, in the War Sisters and we're going to share the news with them today. I feel nervous. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel in general about the news? Extremely happy. We have had COVID over the last year, not much happiness, and things have developed the way they have. And so it's come to a certain turning point for me and Sonia. And we made a decision that was not going to be easy. And we have decided to buy a Dyson working thing. Um, buy. Buy a Dyson vacuum cleaner. I'm happy, sir. A very expensive and very okay. good vacuum cleaner. I hope that will bring you no COVID and more happiness. It will bring, certainly will bring more happiness. Okay, that's good. Also, Kjartan, it looks like you're going to be a cousin again. <laughs> you will be there. No. You will be there. 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 Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs>